Hi, and you're now with the Forerunner Chronicles. All right, everybody, quick video. Right now, I'm out in California. I got an airplane that I got to jump on in like two hours, but the info that I got to share with you, I got to get it to you ASAP. And you know, that's what this video is about, the group ASAP, and in particular, one of the members, ASAP Rocky. Let me explain. A few minutes ago, I jumped on the internet and I got a Skype from one of my entertainment insiders. Now, this guy began to share with me how he came in contact with the group ASAP Rocky at an industry event that he recently attended. Now, unfortunately, my inside entertainment guy did not want to go on the screen with the Skype interview and reveal this information to you himself personally. So, to respect his anonymity, I'm not going to tell you his name, neither the entertainment outfit that he's associated with at this time, but I will share with you the information. When he told me that he was at that industry event and came in contact with ASAP Rocky, I knew exactly what he was getting ready to talk about next. I noticed that within their videos, there was a ton of occult symbology. These guys playing with Bibles, standing inside of Baphomets, the clothing line that they're wearing has the compass and square, it's called Black Label, and has Baphomets on it. These guys fully are promoting the occult. And ladies and gentlemen, this is not the only group that is guilty for using a high amount of occult symbology within their videos. What's going on right now within the entertainment industry and media at large, period, is the fulfilling of Alice Bailey's stratagem to make all of the arts occultic, music, poetry, um, arts, etc., to make them immoral, occultic, obscene, all of these things. It is a part of the New Age Movement's agenda to establish a one world government system under which Lucifer will be acknowledged as sovereign. Why? Because our minds will be already acclimated to receiving these demonic suggestions as something that is good because we have enjoyed it in our music, we've enjoyed it in our television programs, our cartoons, our video games, and in our clothing. ASAP is a new group that is just blowing up the same way that Odd Future blew up, the same way that Lady Gaga blew up, and every other artist that is jumping in the industry right now that is making sure that within their videos, on the clothing that they're wearing, they are throwing out occult symbols all over the place and connected with those occult symbols within their music, though they may not make a conscious decision to do this, but because they've become ready agents of the devil, because they have submitted their hearts, not to Jesus, Christ, but to the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. The very principles contained within their music are the very principles that are connected to the symbols that are being promoted from the occult. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what's transpiring. Going back to the story, my entertainment insider was at this event, came in contact with ASAP Rocky and was impressed because this group came up out of Harlem, New York, came up out of nothing, and just recently they got a million dollar deal. I wasn't surprised because I saw that they were connecting themselves with the occult. So that is always going to be the direct result of that type of activity. And so he, he got one of their mixtapes, went home, he began to listen to it over and over and over and over again in his car, in his home. But one night as he was listening to one of the particular songs, he saw some eyes in the dark. His room was dark and he saw some eyes in the room. And then he began to feel like he was being ripped from the inside out. What he was experiencing was a demonic attack. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you think that you can profess to be Christians and listen to the music of the world at the same time? The Bible is very clear in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. In the book of Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 28, we are told, keep thy heart, thy mind, your emotions, and your desires. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Our mind is the citadel in which the Spirit of God desires to abide with us for eternity if we submit our hearts to Jesus Christ. But the devil is trying to make it his resting place, his throne room, and we as quote unquote professed Christians are giving him full reign within our lives by continuing to view and listen to this corrupt entertainment. ASAP Rocky, Lady Gaga, Kanye West, 
Tyler the Creator and Odd Future, Wolfgang Kill Them All, all these guys, they're just examples of what's going on on a broad scale with the entire media industry at large. Why? Because it is the agency, the platform by which the devil can reach the masses in the shortest period of time and you're falling for this garbage hook, line and sinker. When are you going to make a clear and concise decision within your heart to make a break with the world? The Bible tells us in the book of 1 John chapter 2 verses 15 and 16, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For if any man loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life, it is not of the Father, it is of the world. You have to make a decision. I understand that the music is attractive. I understand the media is attractive. I was in the industry. I was producing that garbage to dwarf your minds, to pervert your intellect, and to draw you out of a relationship with Jesus Christ. I was a part of that whole system. But I'm telling you from the inside out, it's time to make a clear break. Choose you this day whom you will serve. You want ASAP Rocky? Have him. Trust me, you need to stop listening to that garbage as soon as possible. That's what ASAP is an acronym for. Get it out of your life. And anything else that might be separating you from having an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Our only hope in these last days is Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in the book of James chapter 4 and verse 4, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore shall be the friend of the world is the enemy of God. You can't continue to walk on this imaginary line. There is no fence separating the world and Christ. You can either be with Christ or be with the world. Either or, there is no fence activity going on here. If you're on the fence, you're in the devil's camp, bottom line. I need to stop the nonsense. The Bible is very clear. You can read the Bible all day long. You can pray all day long. But if you continue to inundate your mind with this corrupt, perverted, occult, satanic filth, you will corrupt the simplicity of the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ to give you that victory over sin in your life. You won't have it. Because these things strip you of it and they make you vessels in which demonic spirits can dwell. And trust me, I know exactly what I'm talking about. You can't continue in this path. It's time to make a clear decision. The New Age agenda is being fulfilled. It's being carried out and it will be carried out to the T. The question is, are you going to be one of the people that fall for the deception? The truth is here. If you want it, get it. It's free. It's available. But if you want the world, take that too. Good luck with that. This is a forerunner. I got to catch a plane. But whether you like it or not, the truth is the truth.